Hey, what's up guys? I want to bring you along with a little uh, flower bed clean out and uh, straw installation job. Um, these projects can earn you um, a, a pretty sizable amount of money given the, the time investment that you spend on them. And I, I touched briefly on this with uh, a member of the Turf Pros Academy the other day. He was asking about pricing landscaping jobs and, and he was basically saying, hey, I am trying to price some landscaping jobs, but I just feel like my my quotes are too high for what people are able to spend. We're gonna look at this flower bed together and, and me and you are going to say, all this needs to be torn out and we need to come in here and do this job and it should be $3,000 to $4,000 um, to do this job appropriately, tear it out, redesign it, and put in plants and everything. The client doesn't have that budget. They have a $500 budget, okay? And they gotta make it look better. Homeowners Association is breathing down their throat, okay? How do you help them come up with something that's economical, um, that will get the Homeowners Association off their back, and, and just provide some value to your clients? I wanna show you how I do these projects, make pretty good money, while also providing uh, pretty good value to the client. All right, we're about to jump out and look at this property. Um, but I already have started the cleanup on this, but I want to uh, talk through you through what I've done. Whenever you see these flower beds that are they're overgrown, typically the most cost effective thing is to do this. Trim hedges, cut down the weeds in the flower beds with your weed eater, cut a new edge on the flower bed border, like cut a, cut a nice edge, spray everything with Roundup that is like low lying weeds, then install pine straw or some type of other economical, you know, it could be mulch or something. So short of pulling out all the plants and excavating the soil and bringing in compost and doing a plant design and putting in, you know, all this stuff, people can't afford that. Like there's a lot of people that can't afford that, okay? So again, what we're talking about, we're not talking about, you know, creating the most amazing flower bed. You have to work within people's budget, okay? And you have to be able to have that back and forth. Because you know, if you can't execute a project to make it look good for like a, a, a low budget, then I wouldn't even do the job. But I feel like I have found a little sweet spot here with some folks, you know, that that you know can't afford a, a big flower bed redesign. They can only afford the basics. And here's a little, it's like a little economy package, man. A little value package that I put together for them. You know, about 500 bucks, and uh, we're in and out of here. You know, in less than like an hour, hour and a half, to get these projects done. Um, so here's what we got. All right, so here we are. Um, which I had taken a picture of this before, but there was weeds all the way up through here. What I did was just come in here, trimmed up these hedges, trimmed up this Japanese yew, these boxwoods, these Indian hawthorns. Just basically put a hedge trim on everything. Uh, came in here with the weed eater. We did all this down, okay? It took a long time to do. Um, took about 20, 30 minutes to weed eat all this down, get it all out. We did it down again, get it all out till I got it down really, really low. And then what I did was I came in here and we cut a new trench along the edge um, of this flower bed, okay? Um, and it looks like a lot of work. Well, it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. This is the tool that I've been talking about in a few of my other videos. It's called a grub eye hoe. Um, just take this thing, guys, smash it, pull that ground that, uh, pull that grass out, and it cuts a nice deep edge here. Um, I've seen guys uh, use the, the edger with a special attachment. That works pretty good but this really gets a nice, nice deep edge. So now you're asking about, what about all this crap in here, John? What about all this grass? Okay, so for us to come in here and, and excavate this soil and dig all this out, obviously that is going to drastically um, send the, the price uh, skyrocketing. And uh, unfortunately, you know, the client just doesn't have the money to do that. Um, so the next best option is for us to come in here and apply a vegetation killer uh, to the ground, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna just spray all this stuff out with Roundup, and then we're going to install pine straw on top of it. And although that may not be um, the, the best way to do it, as you know, ideally we'd wanna get all this stuff out, um, it's what they have the budget for, and it offers them um, an option um, for getting their place cleaned up and keeping uh, property management companies off their backs. All right, when it's all said and done, um, much improved from what they were earlier. Um, we stuck with the client's budget of $500. Um, I was in and out of this project in less than an hour and a half. Uh, made $425 on this. They got a nice, clean, uh, deep edge that runs all the way along the edge of this uh, flower bed perimeter. 
that we can keep maintained whatever we're here servicing the lawn um, so again the ideal way to do this would be to just get it all out of here let's just start over you know but not everybody has the budget for that so um, she's happy with the price point she paid um, it looks good has the hoa off their back i made 425 dollars in an hour and a half so if we want to run the math on that we can kind of see what our hourly rate is um, i'm going to go do one more of these for today and call it a day so i should make about 800 dollars today uh, and be off uh, before two o'clock not too bad guys not too bad so uh, don't discount these little tiny projects just because you can't get three four or five grand for full install um, you string together a few of these projects like this get in and out uh, you can make a lot of money on these and uh it's per man hour rate and surprise yourself all right guys so one more time the key to this uh, project is communication with your clients understanding what their expectations are based on their budget okay um not everybody can just say hey yeah do it up for four grand you know i've had people that i ask them say hey what are your expectations they're like hey i got a ten thousand dollar budget let's just do it up like that's a different story you know not everybody has that and that's okay it's your job to solve a problem um, for people uh, and and what I just showed you trimming hedges weed eating down the weeds applying a vegetation killer as long as you're allowed to do that and then installing pine straw um, that's something that can do a, I mean a quick bang for your buck I mean those people um, have the HOA uh, off their back now the property looks drastically better I made 420 bucks in like an hour and a half uh, and and everybody's happy the key to that is communicating okay you, you really can make good money even though you're not making a huge chunk of change it still adds up on a per hour basis i'm gonna go string together another one of these today uh, and have a pretty good day for myself all right guys are out finishing up some lawn mowing i got a couple more estimates to do i'm gonna go check in with them uh, make sure that they don't need anything from me and uh, we're gonna have about a half day on friday which we are all looking forward to all right you guys take care i'll be in touch